Alex Lanchov, guten Tag und willkommen. What is the main message of your lecture at this conference? Well, I've been talking about what Google did in the past, how the algorithm of Google changed, and what, how, how signals um, correlate to, to positive rankings in search engines. And we looked out what um, we looked for, what the correlations are now, and we have been thinking of um, what the future will bring. And the conclusion is that you should create a website that is very user friendly, that has user signals, positive user signals, um, and if you do so, that will also positively impact um, your rankings in the search engine. Gospod Axel Lanchov je predavo torej o tem, kako izkoristiti prednosti iskalnikov in kako oblikovati spletne strani, ki bodo iskalnikom torej omogočile, da jih čim prej najdejo in da torej doseže učinek, zaradi katerega jih torej spletne strani sploh oblikujejo. But is it all about Google? I mean, there are also other search engines on the market. That's right, there are also other search engines on the market. In, in most countries, um, Google is most prominent. Um, we are, so we focused in this analysis on, on Google search results and we think that other search engines will go the same path as Google does. So um, for, for the analysis, I, I'm pretty sure that those signals will also be right for other search engines and for tracking um, the visibility in search engines, we watch every search engine there is. Velikokrat torej, kadar govorimo o iskalnikih, slišimo samo ime Google, ampak zagotovo so tudi na trgu drugi iskalniki, ne nazadnje v Sloveniji imamo domači iskalnik Najdipikasi. Naš sogovornik je pa prepričan, da vse zakonitosti, ki so jih v svoji analizi, ki se je sicer nanašala na Google, veljajo torej tudi za druge iskalnike. Skratka, kar se lahko naučimo na primeru enega iskalnika, lahko uporabimo tudi na drugi. So, what are the most common mistakes that uh, web page designers are doing that prevent them from uh, m making uh, or having the best benefit out of their web page with regards to the search engines? So, in general, there are two problems one can do as a web designer. The so first problem is on-page problems, where you just make it hard for Google or impossible for Google to index your page. Um, those, those will also be negative on ranking. And the other problem, a lot of people who create websites, after doing a good, stable website, they, they build links because links are still very important for the rankings. But they, they just buy cheap links um, from spammy websites and this is a really big problem. If, if you get the wrong links, if you don't get high quality links for your website. So if, if you want better rankings for your website and you want to create more links for your website, watch out that you get only links from high quality sites which have content relation to your website. Get links from pages on the same topic. Sogovornik je ob tem opozoru na najpogostejše napake, ki jih delajo ustvarjalci spletnih strani. Ena od takih pogostih napak je tudi ta, da v mrzličnem iskanju povezav se odločajo za nekakovostne povezave, ki ne prispevajo veliko v vrstitvi spletnih strani znotraj iskalnika. Zato je zelo pomembno, da pri oblikovanju spletnih strani izbiramo samo take povezave, ki prihajajo s kakovost in z relevantnih spletnih strani. What do you think are Slovenian web designers doing their job well? I guess. And they have the benefit that the changes, that they can watch changes from United States or other Western European countries like England and Germany where the changes in the search engines most times appear earlier than in, in, in Eastern European countries. So that's, that's a big, big positive thing um, where they can watch out to, to know what the future will bring and already now can prepare for the future and then be set up very well.
Naš sogovornik je prepričan, da slovenski razvijalci, slovenski oblikovalci spletnih strani lahko vznamejo za vzgled ameriške spletne strani, britanske, nemške, skratka spletne strani v tistih državah, kjer so se te spremembe že zgodile in tako ni treba, da bi tudi v Sloveniji šli skozi otroške bolezni, ki so jih na nek način že preboleli na teh z tega vidika razvita iz ših trgih. Thank you very much for this conversation and I hope you will enjoy the rest of this conference. What do you think about this conference? It was very interesting so far and I'm happy to be here and I'm looking forward for the next talks. And we hope to see you again here as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.